What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Tsunami Timo. Do do for the culture, this is more than just a phase. Feeling like Tsunami Simo war slid with a waves. It's your boy Tsunami Timo. Tsunami Timo. I've been using Goat Trip for almost a year now. First couple weeks, I did reviews of it. But um, today's video is me using the Goat Drip for an entire year and how I feel about it now. So, I still buy them, okay? So I still get them. I got the Goat Drip Moisturizer, the Pomade. We already seen the reviews, okay? I got the Goat Drip Butter, still have that, okay? I just believe I still have some of the butter. I ran out of the Moisturizer. Probably six months I had to get another one. I still got the OG butter that I got originally because you don't need to use that much. Still, these two products, they're my favorite two products on the market. Point blank period, these two products right here, number one products on the market. Uh, if you have not checked these out, I don't know what in the world you are doing with yourself. Um, these two products is dope, okay? And I have used these for so long, I don't even see a point in getting anything else. Except for maybe oils, because you want to work in a natural oil into your hair routine to make sure your hair stays moisturized, which this will do the trick. I just like to add some kind of an oil that uh, is featured on the ingredients list. So if we look at this ingredients list, let's say for the butter, for instance, okay, it has avocado oil, argan oil, and jojoba oil. Also has coconut oil. Go to Walmart, very simple. Go to the hair aisle, you will find Joja Ball, Argan Oil, Coconut Oil. I mean, any of those will work for you. So, you put this in, right? You go back and watch my video on how to uh, put the product in, how to use it, how to bounce back. I have tons of videos with this product, okay? But basically, if you follow those videos, follow the instructions, you'll be set, okay? Even after a watching time, even on a daily basis, don't even matter. Now, you want to do that, but in the midst, of transitioning from one to the other. Now, I've told you guys in the past, moisturizer come first, correct? Now, you wanna brush the moisturizer in, and like I said previously, we do it differently. We don't um, brush with a soft brush, because a lot of people say put the soft brush, that's how you put the products in, that's not how we do it. We use a medium brush, and then we brush it in, boom, for like, they say half an hour, you ain't even gotta do too much because I tell you guys all the time, you wanna at least brush for one hour a day. Now, half an hour, moisturizer. Then, you grab the coconut oil because as I said before, the Goat Drip has coconut oil in it. And you wanna use a product or oil that is featured in the product. Now, let's say you're using coconut oil. We're gonna put a sufficient amount of coconut oil in our hands Rub that in from the crown all over. Now is when the magic happens. We're not going to go all the way to the salt. That's not what we're doing. Here we go with one of my all-time favorite brushes, the Medium Soft Torino Pro. Uh, I don't even know if they sell this no more, but if you can't get your hands on a Torino Pro that's a Medium Soft, this one is one I recommend. So let's get right into it. So you put the oil, boom, then you use the Medium Soft, right? Grab a mirror, because I don't fuck with the back of my head without a mirror. So then, boom, we're brushing that. We might go over an hour now. So if you stand it on your time, this may not be for you. So, we're gonna do the oil for 15 minutes. Medium song. Right? Boom. So now we do that for 15 minutes, correct? You brush the oil in 15 minutes. I ain't gonna do it for 15 minutes because I don't wanna hold y'all up, but you get the gist. So 15 minutes is plenty of time to brush in the oil. I don't see why you need to go any longer. But um, like I said previously, then we go to the butter. Okay, that's fine. This is the butter. This is the best butter in the world. I, in my opinion, this is the best out of all three of its products. Pomade moisturizer, this is my all-time favorite. The butter, it's just like, shit's amazing. So we did the oil. Okay, that's fine. Now we're going to the butt, like I said. So now we're going back. Boom. Back to the medium. Rub the oil in. Dime size amount, like always, right? I've already put in the oil 
And you don't have to do this on a daily basis. This is the same as the curling hands and smoothing. Like, unless you live in the Sahara Desert or something, or it's extremely dry where you in, you don't need to put in moisturizer every single day. Um, I put this in two, three days ago. Okay? Hair is still good. The way I'm using it, this is the way you should use it. And this is how it will last you for the amount of time that it has for me, okay? Because you don't want to waste this. This is a nice product. You don't just, uh, like, you can buy, um, let's say for cooking, for instance. You can buy vegetable oil or fucking regular oil and shit that you put in a frying pan. Okay, but then you got olive oil. That shit is not cheap and shit. I think it's olive oil for a small bottle like that for cooking use. Uh, seven dollars and shit similar to this you don't use this like every, every other product so to make it last as long as you possibly can this is the way you do it so I'm not gonna beat around the bush anymore no but basically i used this two three days ago and it's still good that's why i'm not using it in this video so boom you put that in there medium brush half an hour Brush that in half an hour. In the meantime though, you don't have to do the entire half an hour with a medium brush. Let's say you want to do uh, 10 minutes medium and we transition back to the medium soft. Another 10 minutes. It's all up to you. There's no particular regimen that you have to follow. As long as you're getting the time. In. But boom, we hit it with the medium soft. Another 10 minutes. So I'm going from the medium, medium salt, and then the salt. And this is all part of the um, sealing process. So, boom, you come from the crown with the medium salt. And it's very hard sometimes for straight hat wavers to tangle your crown. So I like to come in and use my nail to separate the strands of hair individually. Like if you have a small line or something like that, you can use your finger. Boom. And basically separate the hairs into the direction they need to go. And I always recommend you put a little bit of pomade. So that's when I put a little bit of gold drip pomade. It's all part of the process. But with straight hair, you don't really need to put it everywhere. So I just put a little on the crown. Keep my crown in place. Um, this is all throughout that half an hour. And I'm still brushing with the 10 minutes, right? So I'll be brushing with the medium saw. I like to hit every angle around my head, not just one. I mean, you can focus on one. Each breath session is just going. Your ways might be lopsided, or let's say you gain progress on this side, you ain't gonna have no progress on that side. So I like to brush my entire head um, while I'm doing a brush session. So now, when you did the 10 minutes, boom. Now we're going to the salt. That's it, okay? Salt. Another 10 minutes. And don't try to cut corners and do it short like the way I'm doing in this video just for demonstration purposes. You get what I'm saying? Take your time, do it an hour. Well, anyways, boom. What this does, the soft, basically, so when the medium comes through your hair and like separates everything, it gets you a good brush station. Medium soft lays it down a bit, and it also gives you a decent brush station. What the soft does is basically smoothing everything out. So when you come across with the soft, all the shit that looks messy on top, when you're looking in the mirror, this is fixing that. So 
Oh. Um, I still need to work on my back. I'm slacking on my back, but that's all right. This side, especially, I believe this side right here, I need to work on that a bunch. Um. So, point being, you did the soft brush, you did the medium soft, you did the medium, and um, if you have coarse hair, and you're not, you don't even have to be with wolfing as long as me, if you have coarse hair, um, and you end as far as I am, and this will be a wolf for you, maybe like four, five weeks, you can use a hard brush, okay? But then comes the lay down G, the greatest. Invention of all times in my opinion, except for sliced bread and the car. That's a great one too. And the light bulb. Without the light bulb, I can't see shit. And the brush. And um and the comb. And that's about it. But anyway, so here we go. Lay down G. You can add oil sheen. Like I've used oil sheen before, but this, like I say, it's just for demonstration purposes. So boom. You hit this motherfucker, you don't even gotta hit it long. This is only for free, so. Boom. We laying down for this. And we set. Okay? Well, that's it. And then what I like to do is my crown is off a little bit. Because I ain't had no problem in the day. I did a few days ago. Boom, I'm hitting it with my finger. Boom. Oh, and you can look at it. This is how I'm looking. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But as you can see, I'm still trying to correct this side. I'm trying to think of whether or not I should swing it, um, let's say horizontally to the front, coming from the crown, or if I should just go straight down. I believe that if you come straight down instead of coming horizontally, it looks a little bit better. So I'm in, I'm in transition from whether or not I want to come this way or just straight down. So that's why this is looking like this. Other than that, I like how far I've gotten uh, since the haircut, especially. And uh, I think I'm on my way back. So, if you enjoyed this video, or if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button, what do you see there? A bell. Hit the bell. Make sure you see all my new videos, okay? Because if I get a chance to catch my breath, you better believe I'm coming back. But as of right now, shit has been hard for me, bro. I feel like I've been working doubles, even though I have not. This whole shit is a fucking mess, bro. Like I told y'all, the movers broke my washing machine. The motherfucker came to fix the washing machine, broke it again. Try to turn the dishwasher on. Brand new house now. Brand new dishwasher. The fucking dishwasher. No water coming into the bitch. I got tons of shit to figure out. So, that being said, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Drop a comment, drop a like, all of that shit. You already know how it go. That being said, it's your boy, Tsunami Timo. And I'm out.